So we know Ho Otis becomes one for the record books, likely becomes a benchmark perhaps as we put it towards improving weather forecasts of the future. Earlier, we spoke with Naval Research Lab hurricane expert, Kurt Hansen, to learn a little bit more about this historic storm. Otis was a relatively small storm uh, for its intensity, and small storms can uh, fluctuate in intensity very quickly and unexpectedly, both up and down. Um, and so the nature of the storm was in inherently less predictable, and it is harder for uh, global uh, computer models to resolve uh, smaller storms, which made it uh, more difficult to forecast. Yeah, you talk about the storm's big change. It went from 50 miles an hour with wind to 165 mile hour winds. That was less than 24 hours that we had that major change. You look back at what made this so powerful and so quickly. Was it, you know, a pocket of warm ocean water? I mean, what are some of the influences that could have changed the strength of that storm so quick? Yeah, so the warm ocean water is uh, very clearly a factor. The uh, water just off the coast of Mexico where Otis made landfall was 31 degrees Celsius, which is more than sufficient for uh, rapid intensification. Um, there was light to moderate vertical wind shear, which is the difference in winds at different levels of the atmosphere, um, which allows for rapid intensification. And there was plenty of moisture avail available. So uh, the atmospheric conditions were also favorable for intensification. Kurt, let's look long-term just a bit as far as forecasting and the improvement. Uh, Ken Graham, he's the new director of the National Weather Service. There's this initiative called Ken's 10, and, and one of his initiatives is to develop forecast models specifically with hurricanes to see that improve. I guess with this storm, was it unpredictable or was this just simply unpredicted? I, it, was there anything in our arsenal of forecasting tools that we could have seen, hey, this is occurring, or are we at a point right now with our forecasting models, which are tremendous, uh, that we just weren't able to catch it? Yeah, um, so that is uh, a very good question. Um, so a lot of the models did miss uh, this rapid intensification event, but there were signs and there were some models that at least hinted at the possibility that uh, rapid intensification would occur. And in fact, the National Hurricane Center did uh, note in one of their advisories that uh, rapid intensification was a possibility. Yeah, it's very interesting. They did make that mention, the warning of rapid intensification. You also start to look at this, um, the small size of the storm. Don't discount it, especially when you've got that pocket of warm ocean water. You mentioned it, uh, the, the uh, conversion there from Celsius to Fahrenheit takes us up to 88 degree warmth ocean water. So it's like, you know, more like a hot tub than a bath water. And then the other factor, I think, is you look at the shallow shelf there, which also allows, um, you know, to tap into that warm, that warm ocean water very quickly. So there's so many factors here, I think, that we could take away from it. How will an incident like Otis translate, though, into a research opportunity? Does this become something that we can take into the uh, new rapid intensification models that we're working on? Uh, Otis for sure will be studied uh, by modelers and uh, other scientists alike. This is a very, uh, well, obviously, a, a very disastrous effect that, and uh, we would definitely like to understand uh, more why it happened. So um, I can't speak to specifically how we will incorporate uh, data from Otis, but I do know some researchers that are certainly looking at it. Yeah, it looks like uh, it'll be a combination of looking at the regional aspects of it, the atmospheric uh, ability to get that data as quickly as possible, and so much more. We thank you for joining us for this conversation. Naval Research Lab Hurricane Researcher Kurt Hansen, thanks for being on Weather Command and for your insight. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.